Yeah, let's party with Richard Howard. Yes, the man who everybody has talked about. You have come up in every conversation every we've had today. Every single one. Okay. Oh. Because of energy, country music. Country, baby. You're driving Seneca oh. night crazy at 6 a.m. with your country music. Oh, man. They don't like my country. Is he the one that's been complaining? <laughs> no. You got Travis, Travis Scott. Like, it's, uh, it's a great day to be alive. That's what I start every day with at 6 a.m. Just to get everyone kind of, like, all juiced up and excited. <laughs> and Tijan doesn't like it. No, he doesn't. That's all right. Um, we've talked about the energy you bring to this team. Where does that energy come from for you? Oh, dang. That's an intense question. Uh, We're going deep <laughs> now. Deep. Yeah. I don't know. I'm off the court. I'm a really quiet person. I'm actually pretty mellow. So that's just kind of my release. And I don't know. It's just a lot more fun. Basketball is a lot more fun when you're just being goofy with it instead of being serious 100% of the time. So I'm just like, might as well have fun. Like, <laughs> And that expels itself. In it expels volume. it out in loud volume. Yes. Love it. <laughs> What did you work on this offseason? Because clearly your energy is where it needs to be. Uh, so yeah. skill set, what did you work on this offseason? Uh, I worked on a couple things. The big one is I lost a lot of weight. There was one point I lost like 30 pounds. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Huh? Ow. I, I was just dieting and then just doing extra conditioning. And then we realized that was a little bit too much weight to lose. My game is I'm a bruiser, so I gained like 10 pounds back, 10, 15 okay. pounds back. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's a big thing, like getting my body in better shape, being able to run uh, up and down the court being able to compete a little bit longer in games because we don't have, like, Matt anymore. Gavin's coming back, but he's going to be a little, like, hit and miss with his knee. So that was the big thing I was focused on, just making sure I'm in Ooh. shape to be able to play. What are you at now? Wait. Uh, right now I'm at, like, 250, 255. Gotcha. And, and, and that's where you want to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right there. <laughs> Okay. 30 pounds. Uh, respect. Yeah. I mean, I went on the COVID pneumonia diet and lost 16 pounds, but I don't recommend that for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was different. Yeah. I feel like a hobbit uh, visually. Just. Oh, yeah. You, you're a larger human than we are, but uh, I feel tiny right now. Yeah. It's anyway, okay. yeah. Uh, you, you did some internships. You want to do HR or something? Well, Tell yeah, I'm wanting that. to do HR. That's kind of what I want to go into. You want to do HR? Yeah. What were your internships? Oh, I haven't been able to do any of them yet, but we've been setting them up. Yeah. Nice. Oh, but yeah. didn't you do something this summer where you got some experience with somebody? No, oh, no. Okay, like, okay I was lied to. basketball all summer, man. I was, I was lied to. <laughs> I was lied to. What do you want to do with HR? Uh, I want to go into, like, recruiting and development. I really like the idea of, like, you're almost like a coach in a business, helping people progress mm. in the yeah. business. It's, so, it's, so it's not the handle complaints person. Uh <laughs> I can handle them, but, it, like, no, it's more about dealing with people. Okay. okay. That's, that makes more sense because I thought, I don't see the fit here oh, with yeah. Toby and Richard Harwood. That's where it started was. It was a joke. Like, initially, it was like, I was watching The Office. I'm like, why is everyone trashing on this guy? He <laughs> seems like such a nice guy. And then, like, all of a sudden, I was like, wait, it's actually pretty interesting what he does when you actually look into what he does. Yes. No, HR matters. Uh, it got a bad rap in the show. <laughs> Our human resources specialist on BYU basketball, Richard mm -hmm. Harward, yes. is with us on BYU exactly. Sports Nation. <clears throat> I want you to be my HR guy at some point. Oh, I got okay? you. I got you, brother. All right. <laughs> Richard, what makes you most excited about this specific team? Uh, this specific team? Just the combination of having Alex Barcelo and Tijon on the court is unreal. Like, Alex, I've always said, is one of the best decision makers I've ever seen in basketball. He always makes the right decision. He always hits the open man or takes the open shot or creates for another guy. And then Tijon comes in, and he's just, like, an extension of that. Instead of, like, Alex, who tends to be a little bit more at, like, the three-point line and kind of, like, drives in every once in a while, Tijon's aggressive. He drives in, and he does the same thing Alex does. It's just going to be a deadly combination. Mm, I can't wait. Tell us about some of the bigs, because you have a Tiki Ali, a Tiki joining. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Gavin and his knee still getting back. Fuseni Traore is kind of uh, an undersized guy, but his length is incredible. Yeah, good luck scoring over those guys. I know. So I, I've been telling everyone, Fusini is one of the best, like, freshman big I've ever seen to come out of high school. Mm. He's already athletic. He's already got a good basketball head on him. He has a great touch with the ball. He knows what he's doing. He's going to be he's going to be an all-star for BYU. I'm really excited about him. Atiki is just a freak of nature. This guy is so athletic. He's got a ton of energy. He's really chill, really funny. I feel like he's going to be a great guy for BYU as well. And then Gavin, his knees coming back along great. It makes me mad. This guy blew out his knee, like totally blew it out, and he's already got like a vertical that's like 10 inches higher than mine. <laughs> so I don't know how can I compete? Like how do I do? That's hilarious. <laughs> it's just unfair. You it's know? unfair. And sometimes yeah. you just have to accept it, yeah. it and it's okay. How did what happened against Gonzaga in the West Coast Conference Tournament Championship when you're so close and then mm. slipped away, and then what happened in the tournament against UCLA, how did that shape your offseason? 
for my offseason, I kind of saw it as an opportunity. Like, okay, we were against the, like, the number one ranked team in the nation, and we almost had them. Like, we had them up until the last few minutes. And then we go against UCLA, and we kind of fell apart, whatever happened. But then they made such a deep run. That I'm saying it's like, we're right there. We have the team. We have the pieces. We just need to focus on the small little details. Because the differences between like winning and losing those games are in the small details. There's not a big thing you need to change. It's focusing on the small little things. Mm. So that's what Post's been talking with us. That's what I've been focusing on, trying to get like the small things, trying to get the small details in line. All the small things, you could say. Um, people are going to see it on your right arm this year during the season. You got some new ink. Oh, yeah. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, baby. I love Lord of the Rings. I brought up the Hobbit thing. We have 90 seconds left. Oh, Describe yeah? to people what you got. Oh, so I got the the riddle of Strider in Elvish and Tengwar, the Engli English script of it, and it goes around the, my guitar, and then I've got the Argonath that goes up each side. It's the statues from the Fellowship of the Ring. Wow. Yeah. It, it, it looks nice. It's pretty sick. It looks nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, fun. <laughs> We're excited. Richard, it's so great to have you. Thanks, brother. Does the energy not feel like way uh, it's amazing? Right now? It's amazing. It's like, yeah. well, okay. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's Game go. day, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing we've ever done with you, besides this, mm -hmm. was when we did the practice last year. And oh. I didn't even ask you a question. You just came over and just started yelling. Oh, yeah. And then you left. And I was like, that was Richard Howard. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That was great. Yeah. More of that, please. Mm, yeah. I got you. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Great to talk with you. Appreciate it, brother. That's